we have different types of vaccines and we have different application methods of vaccination. So we, there are certain vaccines that are applied through the oral route. So the farmer puts the vaccine into drinking water and the birds drink. They take the vaccine through the drinking water. There are other methods like uh, injection. And by injection, there are two types. We can have the subcutaneous injection, whereby the vaccine is injected under the skin. The other route of vaccine application is through the intramuscular route, whereby the body is injected on the muscles, either the breast muscles or the thigh muscle. So this particular vaccination that we are going to do today is known as the Newcastle. This is the Newcastle vaccine. And the, uh, the application method is through the intramuscular route. We, could, uh, we are going to inject through the uh, thigh muscle. That is uh, what we, we recommend today. So vaccination, the importance is to prevent serious diseases. There are some diseases, especially the viral diseases, which leads to high economic uh, losses. For example, the Newcastle itself, is, uh, it, 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 it could kill close to 30 to 50 percent of your flock, or even 100 percent of your flock. So once we do it, this particular vaccine, once we do it, we'll repeat it after another year. So it's known as a killed vaccine, and it stays in the body for close to a year. Yes, and uh, there's another type of vaccine. Uh, okay, the Newcastle could also be applied through the oral route, but we have to boost it after every three months. Since it's a live vaccine, we boost it after every three months. But this particular one, since it's a killed vaccine, we boost it after one year. Yeah.